I'm just going to move your elbow in a little bit. We're going to put a little ultrasound gel and take a look at the disease that we think is there in your tendon, putting the transducer. And again, the radial head, you can see it very clearly in the middle of the screen. As I move up approximately, I can see the entire, again, in longitudinal view, I can see the contour of the epicondyle. And I'm going to get a good view there where I can show you some of that disease that we're looking at. So in this view here, you see that you've got some fairly healthy tendon. It's a nice longitudinal patterns there. But as we kind of move the entire contour, we can see some disease and hypoechoic area right there. So if you could freeze that for a moment, we can point that out. So on the right side of the screen, you see the radial head, you see the joint space, and then on the left side of the screen, the bony landmark in a very hypo, hyperechoic, excuse me, fashion, you see the epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. And on the top part of that, at the crest of the epicondyle, you can see some regions of disease as demonstrated by hypoechoic focal area. You have thinning of the tendon tissue. If you can unfreeze that, then we can go back with the exam. Again, we're doing a longitudinal exam with the framework of identifying the radial head, the joint space, and the capitellum of the epicondyle. And as I move up proximally, I can see the contour of the epicondyle again. And there is the disease that's showing up as a hypoechoic area. You can also confirm this and evaluate the content of this through a uh, orthogonal or transverse view. There is the epicondyle, and you can see right above it, in the bony landmark of the epicondyle, you can see a bit of the uh, diseased area showing as dark or black areas of the tendon right above it. And then as I progress through the joint space, moving distally, you lose the image of the epicondyle. So here you're in the joint space and making the transition between the capitellum of the epicondyle. And then the radial head appears in a very hyperechoic bright region. So again, on a tra uh, transverse view, you have the radial head, joint space with no bony landmarks, epicondyle, and then above the epicondyle there where the tendons inserting, you have the dark regions indicative of disease and damaged tendon tissue.